Okay, so we are here once again in Timber Champions. And as you guys may know, one of the new features and one of the big new features in this new Samurai update is of course the new crafting machine over in the Samurai area where there's actually two items to craft as well as seven new ingredients as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get each individual ingredient and basically where's best to get it from and how's best to get it. So let's get straight into it. So you can actually see your ingredients over here in your profile or your stats area. And as you can see right now, we have all of these different ingredients ranging from the these ones called sticks all the way down to the candy ones. And basically what I'm going to do is show you guys where to get each individual one from. So as you can see, this first one over here is probably going to be one of the easier ones to get. This one is called sticks, I believe. And basically how you get this one is all you need to do is just randomly break trees in the first area which of course is the spawn area so yeah all you gotta do is go all the way back to the start of the game and basically just start breaking down any trees that you can see and then over time if you are lucky enough you will actually get some of the new ingredient now it can take quite a while to get some of this as it is the same for all of the others it is genuinely just pretty much a random chance of a random drop of course if you do want to speed up the process you can buy the times two ingredients chance in the shop over there it costs 400 robux it may or may not be worth it for some people but of course if you do want to speed up the process you can do now this one is going to be one of the easier ones to kind of get over time as you can see there we did actually get one right there you got a stick and yeah all you need to do really for this one is i just recommend go get in like the auto farm upgrades and then just turning on the auto farm feature and then just going doing something else for like 20 minutes come back and then you'll probably have around like 20 to 25 sticks so yeah basically as you can see there we got another one so yeah a very easy one to get right there and then moving on as well another one that is works exactly the same way is the next one over here in the next area the cactus ones so yeah all you got to do for this one once again is just turn on the auto farm feature go around as you can see we already got one there right away which is actually pretty lucky so yeah again very very simple very easy indeed just go around basically just kind of auto farming probably leave for like 15 20 minutes and then come back and you'll have a ton of these stashed up so yeah very easy another one as well that works exactly the same way is the atlantis one all you got to do again for this one is just auto farm and then over time after like 15 20 minutes you'll have more than enough to craft whatever you need down in the samurai area as you can see there we got another fish right there we're going to skip over the jungle area just for now because this one actually works a little bit differently so we will come back to this one however the next one we will go over is the volcano area again the same one for this all you got to do is auto farm this area just turn on auto farm go around leave for 15 minutes and then come back and you'll probably have more than enough what you'll need to actually go ahead then and get everything that you can see there we've got another flame which is a nice little ingredient there similar as well to the pixel area um i don't actually believe the pixel area has one as you can see um this one is basically like so basically we're going over it spawn the desert we've got the atlantis area we've got in the jungle area then the next few are actually the magic ball over here and we also have the volcano so the pixel area doesn't actually have an ingredient to get from so honestly you don't really need to go back to the area however again similar to the other areas all you've got to do for the magic area right here is probably just turn on your auto farm it will say no trees are found however obviously once the tree does actually spawn in it will then go ahead and actually go right back onto it however if you don't really trust the auto farm feature you can also just use an auto clicker like so if you just turn it off and then just turn on an auto clicker probably will be a little bit quicker but of course if you're out on mobile just use the auto farm feature anyways but yeah of course it's the very same way as the other ones just sit there and wait for your ingredients to come down and again another one that's similar to how the other ones work the uh, candy area all you got to do is again auto farm around here for 15 20 minutes and then come back and you will have all the ingredients you need so again another very very simple one right there and then of course we come over to the last area the samurai area which works the exact same way as all the others all you've got to do is auto farm in this area and then over time you will get enough to craft some of the stuff so yeah basically every single one of these works the exact same way where you have to auto farm apart from this one right here which is going to be the gorilla ingredient and for this you need to go down to the jungle area which of course has the gorilla boss inside of it now what you're going to need to do for this ingredient is basically just kill off this gorilla now i would recommend getting that um, upgrade 
where basically I think it's like the boss HP damage or something like that. And basically you will be able to do a maximum of 6 damage to this boss if you do have that upgrade uh, on. So I would highly recommend you go ahead and do that, just to basically speed up this process as quickly as possible. Now, you are not guaranteed to get this ingredient um, from this boss. However, you might realise once this boss actually dies, it does take a very, very long time to actually respawn. So what I would recommend doing is actually getting one of the free private servers. And basically, once you kill the boss, just leave the private server and then rejoin. Let the server just kind of like reset itself. And then when you rejoin, this boss will actually respawn back in. However, what you'll need to do for that is basically just have like yourself in the server. So if you leave, the server will then become completely inactive and will completely close down and reset. If there is still people in the server, you will also have to ask those to leave. But if you are doing this on your own, then it honestly just got to leave and then rejoin and this boss will respawn. But yeah, let's just quickly get through this boss right now. We are already halfway through it. It does take quite a while. So again, I would recommend having an auto clicker to do this just to kind of like, you know, save your fingers some of the damage and stuff like that and of course if you really do like really want a lot of this ingredient then i guess you could potentially also like overnight this however i wouldn't really recommend that just for the simple fact that honestly the gorilla doesn't spawn as much as you would think it does so yeah i would just basically kind of leave the server let the server reset rejoin and then kind of like basically once the re server's reset this boss will literally be spawned back in once again so yeah let's just quickly kill off this boss right now if we are lucky enough we will get that gorilla ingredient however if we're not lucky enough we will not see that ingredient but yeah of course we can just leave and rejoin and i get the boss again so yeah we've got 100 more left to go now and hopefully we will get this ingredient because obviously it does take quite a while to kill off this boss and we are literally just about to kill it right now one more hit and we actually do get the ingredient right there as you can see the gorilla head so yeah Overall, it is actually very simple to get some of these ingredients. It just takes quite a lot of time. So yeah, basically just to kind of recap over this, for the sticks, you've got to basically break any tree in the spawn area. For the cactus ingredient, got to break any tree in the desert area. For the Atlantis or the fish ingredient, you've got to break any tree in the Atlantis area. For the gorilla head ingredient, you've got to basically uh, kill the boss and get lucky to get the ingredient. For this one down here, I believe this is like a, I can't remember what it's called, I'm just going to call it the cat ingredient. Uh, you've got to break any tree in the samurai area. For the magic ball ingredient, you've got to break the big tree in the magic area. For the flame ingredient, break any uh, tree in the volcano area. And then for the candy one, all you've got to do is break any tree inside of the candy area. So yeah, of course, basically the only style of trees that don't actually give you anything is the ones from the jungle and the ones from the pixel area. So yeah, make sure you're killing the boss and basically just ignoring the pixel area from now on. So yeah, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.